I've got a kit to put together, and you know, it's, I don't know if you can see that, but it looks like an old-fashioned record player. Uh, got a confession to make. When I bought this, I thought it was an accessory for like the Arduino or Raspberry Pi. And I'll give you a second to guess what it is. Uh, it's got a coil printed on both sides. Not very much circuitry down here. But uh, yeah, have you guessed? It's a metal detector. And no, it doesn't go with the Arduino or anything. It's just an ordinary old thing. Uh, I'm not sure what I can do with it. Maybe put it in a glove and put it on the back of your hand and you can do metal detecting or put it in your shoe or something like that. And, do stealth metal detecting, I don't know, but anyway, uh, it was only a couple bucks, so I'll put it together and we'll see what it does for us. You know, as I was looking this over, this actually is a pretty good quality board. It looks like it's got a lot of high resin and um, the, uh, the uh, connections are pre-tinned and uh, yeah, it's uh, it looks like uh, it's pretty well done. I mean, it's not like some of the junk I've gotten in the past. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to doing this now. Okay, so I will uh, start loading up. We'll get a piece done at a time and, and uh, see how it goes. For good through hole soldering, what you want to do is you want to start up higher on the lead like this and get your thermal conduction going up here and then move down to the hole, add just a touch of solder, pull away, and let it cool. And you'll get a perfect solder connection every time. Well, I think I'm all done. Uh, it says it runs on 3 to 5 volts. I need to find a 3 to 5 volt supply, and we'll hook it up, see what it does. First, let's take a close-up look and, at the uh, soldering and, and components layout and see what kind of job I did. Well, this is the component side. Doesn't look too awful. Things are relatively square on there. Okay. And this is the solder side. Eh, reasonably good soldering joints. Okay, let's uh, plug it in and see what happens. First, let's turn it on. And do a smoke test. And I don't see anything rising up from it. Terribly sensitive. I guess you can adjust that with this screw over here. Well, that's obnoxious. Okay. Let's see if we can get this. Yeah, I'm not gonna be finding too much buried treasure, but you know, if you just needed a, a scanner to like look for metal like a ring in the grass or use it for security to see if somebody was carrying a metal bar or something it might work anyway you know for a couple bucks it was a cute little toy and um, I'll have to play with it some more but yeah I would say for a couple bucks it's a, a good uh, rainy day project uh, to do some soldering Okay, well that was it. I hope you found this useful and interesting in your electronics work and maybe your uh, security work or your uh, metal divining work.